Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast today. The Women of Color Foundation hosts its annual Personal and Professional Development Retreat for Women in early April. Founder and Chairwoman Alexandria Boone is here to talk about this and other events scheduled throughout the year. She's joined by Renita Jefferson, Director of Diversity and Inclusion at American Greetings Corporation. Also, Vicki Frizzick of Dominion East Ohio and Rodney Murphy of Good Sense will explain how an energy audit can save you money on your winter heating bills. And later in the broadcast today, the president and CEO of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Marsha Maccabee, and Tim McDevitt of the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Court will tell us about the Urban Youth Empowerment Program. Good morning. I'm Leon Bibb. This is Kaleidoscope, and so we begin. Beginning with one of our regulars around here, <laughs> Alexandria Boone, founder and chairman of the Women of Color Organization, yes. and Renita Jefferson, director of diversity and inclusion for American Greetings. Good, good to have you both with us. Thank you, Leon, for having us back. Yeah, yes. good, always good to have you with us, uh, Alex. Well, What's the primary mission of the Women of Color Foundation? Well, Leon, we provide executive development and leadership development training for women and girls of color. You know, typically um, corporations provide training and education, but we have a special forum where people can express themselves even deeper and further mm -hmm. through the Women of Color Foundation programming. And you've been doing this for some time now. Eleven years. We're yeah. starting our second decade of excellence. And I know you've got a big event coming up in just a moment. We do. Well, just a, in just a while. I don't yeah, mean just, just a, a moment, moment, though, really, because they come so fast. In the next moment, <laughs> we want to talk about, we want to talk to Renita over here, and we want to bring her in, Renita Jefferson. Tell us about the, the involvement of your company, American Greetings, the, the wonderful card corporation sure. located here in Greater Cleveland. Absolutely. Leon, this is our second year as a strategic partner with Women of Color, and we're very pleased to be part of an organization, as Alex says, that celebrates women and cel cel women and girls, and it celebrates the opportunity for development going forward. So it just, um, the programs that she brought to us in our first year, as I mentioned before, we had over 400 women in our organization, and certainly within the community that took advantage of that opportunity so we want to bring those programs back again this year we're very excited always a wonderful event it is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thursday March the 24th is your well, big it's, day. it's actually March 14th and March 14th. Yeah, Thursday March 14th at American greetings we're putting um, on a workshop um, our speaker is Carmen Ortiz McGee, and Carmen is coming in from Washington, D.C. She's a senior VP at Aon Corporation, and she's going to talk about career journeys, making the right choices at the right time. We actually had Carmen speak at Case Western Reserve when we did our retreat in 2011, and she was so fantastic, we decided to have her back. And we're very excited about having her. And that's the first in our series mm -hmm. of workshops that we're going to be doing at American Greetings this year. Yeah. What do you want women to get out of this when they attend? And this is open to anybody who'd like to attend. It's right? open to anyone. I tell people all the time, white is a color for us. So, so all colors. All we're, colors. We're, all to go, we're swinging all the way. Uh, we're swinging the whole <laughs> pendulum, okay? And we want people to walk away with a renewed sense of inspiration and self-confidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have workshops that we're going to have at American Greetings. They'll be talking about branding oneself because, you know, people get promoted when people know who you are and by what you're about. By branding oneself. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you mean by branding. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, by your look, by your professionalism, by your training, by how you carry yourself. Uh, people get noticed that way. We tell people who are entrepreneurs. People buy what they remember. If they don't know what your brand is, how do they buy your product? So or your you service? want to sit up straight. There you go. And all of that there kind of go. thing. Let everybody there you go. know exactly that, that, right. that, that, that you've entered the room. Right. Your involvement. Now, 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 why is American Greetings lending its support to this? Sure. Um, we partnered initially with Alex in our efforts around diversity and inclusion and community outreach. And um, in my role, I took a look at what types of organizations were in our community making great impacts, and I came across women of color and attended several of uh, Alex's workshop and was blown away by the caliber of talent as well as her leadership and enthusiasm and she immediately took me under her wing and we got to to know one another and I really got, came to understand truly the mission and, and vision of women in color and as I think about our engagement our opportunity to brand ourselves as American Greetings in the community that women of color became a natural strategic partner for us in this space and certainly I'm sorry. Go ahead. Certainly no. as we talk about branding, when you think about the brand of you as an individual for your career, the brand of American Greetings and the product that we sell is, is paramount to us as well. 
And Alex will help you along with those because she's Absolutely. been doing this for years, Alex Long and I have known each other for many, many years. <laughs> yes, we have. Now, now where's this going to be? It's going to be Thursday, March the 14th. Yes. And where and how can people sure. get involved? It will be located at the American Greetings Corporation, which is right on Tiedemann. All that information will be at the Women of Color uh, website and you will be given directions and the time of the event is lunchtime. Mm -hmm. So we're asking people to come 11.30 to 1.30 is the time of the event. So come, we'll have a, a refreshments there for you as well. What's it gonna cost for you it's to get It's free in? and open to the public. Open to the public. Open to the public. Free. It's free and open to the and public. And it doesn't get any better than that, that because so much information you are going to give. Exactly. And we don't want women to fail to attend any of our programs because of finances. Once again, we're going to put the numbers on the screen where you can call and get more information on everything we are talking about. And there's a website as well, womenofcolorfoundation.com. Correct. Women of Color uh, uh, foundation.com. You've also got a professional retreat in our f last 30 seconds here. Yeah, April we do have a our annual professional development retreat for women of color. It's April 4th and 5th at Lander Haven, and this is our 11th annual event, so we're very excited because we have sponsors like Dominion and Cleveland Clinic and Forest City and American Greetings mm -hmm. who support us, mm -hmm. and we've had a long relationship with Dominion, and we're very excited about that as well. It's always been a good thing and will continue to be a good thing, no doubt. And once again, it's going to be at the American Greetings uh, uh, location. You want to give that location while, while sure. you're at it? It's on one American Road. That's right off Tiedemann in Brooklyn, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be on March the 14th, which mm -hmm. is Thursday. What time do you start? 11.30. Okay, and there's the phone numbers on the screen right there. 866-962-3411, uh, extension 307, or you can dial 216-391-4300, extension 307. We've got them on the, phone, on, on the bottom of the screen there. Right. Or you can go to the womenofcolorfoundation.com website and get more information on Correct. everything we've been talking about right. with two wonderful women. Thank you, sir. Oh, we by the way, and this is your, your, this is your, uh, your, your your, your journal. journal so right. I forgot to hold this up. This is the journal that, that the, the, the women are writ, writing on, and the goal is to write your thoughts. Right, in this. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's all blank pages. You but, got it. But you fill it up you, yourself. You fill it up, and you can go back and refer to it. We'll be writing in these. If, Everybody should write a right, journal. Right, exactly. I'm going to take a break in a moment. We'll continue uh, our discussion here on Kaleidoscope. We thank uh, Alexandria Boone and Renita Jefferson talking about women of color. In a moment, we're going to talk about saving money on your winter heating bill on Kaleidoscope. Back after this. Welcome back to more of Kaleidoscope today. Getting an energy audit on your house could save you money on winter heating bills. Director of Regulatory and Pricing at Dominion East Ohio, Vicki Frizzick, is here. And so is Rodney Murphy. He's a building analyst with good sense. And he's going to explain how all of this works. Good to have you with us. Vicki, let's start with you. Tell, tell me about the Dominion Home Performance with Energy Star program. What is that? Well, this is a program that we're offering to our residential customers um, that will help them save money, as you said, by having an energy assessment of their home and identifying ways in which they can make energy efficiency improvements. You can find out if you've got a draft coming in in the wintertime and how to plug up that draft uh, to keep the warm air inside. That's right. That, that kind of thing, yeah. Well, and Rodney, you are here also. You, you're, you're with an organization called Good Sense, and Sense is spelled C-E-N-T-S. I like that. But it makes Good Sense, S-E-N-S-E, -E, to work with Good Sense, C-E-N-T-S. Yes, you're saving money. Now, how do, how do you fit into this program? Basically, what we do when we go out into a home is we do a very comprehensive examination of the customer's home. We check out the furnace, hot water tank, make sure everything's operating properly, windows, doors, insulation levels, basically an overall assessment of the home. And then what we do is we set up what's called a blower door test. And that simulates a 20 mile an hour wind hitting every surface of the home from outside. We go through then with the customer with a thermal imaging camera and we help identify areas of potential energy loss in the home and advise them what they need to do to take care of that. Now how do people get involved in this kind of project? What do they do? Most of the high notice sign up with DEO. They can go on our website, deoenergysavers.com, mm -hmm. and they will sign up. They set up an appointment. We go out to the home and we perform the assessment and provide them with a report on all the findings that we have. 
Okay. Vicki, tell me now, this is vital to uh, people have been talking about uh, uh, trying to save and stretch those dollars as far as possible and conserve on energy as well. Is that why uh, uh, Dominion East Ohio has gotten involved in this project? Yes, this program um, was um, implemented a few years ago in late 2008, uh, Dominion East Ohio got approval from the Public Utilities Commission to set aside funds to use for this purpose. So mm -hmm. we subsidize the cost to the customer. The customer pays only $50 for the audit, and the customer can choose to have that $50 rebated if they make recommended home improvements, mm -hmm. or they can choose to receive a CO detector at the time of the audit. Well, you can get your money back if you do certain things along the way after after the, after uh, uh, Rodney and his group come in and, and assess the home right customers can get rebates of up to one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars if they make recommended improvements for energy efficiency okay so what can your customers do what should be the first step they do if they would like to be involved in this in this uh, uh, performance program well, the first step is that they need to sign up for the program. They can do that on www.deoenergysavers.com or by calling 877-287-3416 and our partners, Good Sense, will take it from there. When you take it from there, when you go into the house, I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued by this 20 mile an hour blower that that you put on you where do you put that blower outside the door it goes right into the man door going to the outside mm -hmm. and it's a simulated pressure so most of the time the home will be in a negative pressure so the customer won't be uncomfortable mm -hmm. they won't feel anything just a couple little drafts yeah well how much do you figure people can save on average if you if you can give us well, what what percentage can we save if we tighten down the house typically in our studies we've seen that customers are saving about 30% or more off their energy usage for the year by, you know, depending on what, what upgrades they choose to do in the home. Now, how long have you guys been doing this kind of thing? Uh, we started this prog program in 2010. Mm -hmm. And it has been effective for you and your customers have found satisfaction, I would imagine? It, we think the program is working great. Um, they, we have lots of customers already involved mm -hmm. And uh, we hear from customers and how good the program has been for them. If we can seal up the house pretty good and keep the energy that we have bought inside the house, then everything will be a lot better. You That's would agree. Right. Let me put a phone number on the screen, and, and we're going to put that website on the screen as well. Uh, the phone number is 877 287 3416. That's a toll free call. Too. That is. 877 287 3416, or you can go to DEO. EnergySavers.com, D-E-O, EnergySavers.com. You see it written at the bottom of the screen. If we do that, your guys will be out there, and we can start saving money at the same time. Yes, sir. And staying warm and toasty in the summertime and cool and collected, I guess. Yes, sir. Warm and toasty in the wintertime, cool and collected in the summertime. Right. I got you. You knew where <laughs> I was going. I knew exactly what you meant. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Rodney Murphy with Good Sense, and it makes good sense to call the organization called thank Good you, Sense. Sir. And Vicki Frizzick, she's with Dominion East Ohio. She's Director of Regulatory and Pricing. Thank you so much for being on the broadcast. Thank you for having us. We'll stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter. <laughs> sir. Back in a moment. I'm going to continue with this program. In just a moment, we're going to talk about a program for youth and juvenile court here in Cuyahoga County. I'll be right back after this. You're in touch with Kaleidoscope. I'm glad to have you aboard today. The Urban League of Greater Cleveland has a new program in place to help young teens and young adults who've been through the juvenile court system. The president and the CEO of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Marsha Mockaby, is here, and the director of probation services at the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Court, Tim McDevitt, is here to, to tell us more about the Urban Youth Empowerment Program. Good to have you, as always, my good friend, Marsha Mockaby. She's with us usually during the week, and good to have you with us as well, Tim McDevitt. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about this Urban Youth Empowerment Program now. What is that? Well, uh, Leon, we are so excited to be one of several programs that is coming out of the National Urban League partnership with the Department of Labor. Mm -hmm. And we um, are beginning this program. We were funded in December. And uh, we have recruited our first cohort of students who are 14 to 17 years old 
who have had their first uh, brush, if you will, with juvenile detention. And what we're trying to do is work with those young people to get them right after that first offense, get them redirected into a positive direction, surround them with a myriad of supports, and to help move them through to some positive outcomes. Tim McDevitt, your Director of Probation Services for Cuyahoga County Juvenile Court, you don't want them to have a second offense. No, that, that's, that's exactly the mission. You know, that's, that's exactly what we do. We get kids uh, who've made mistakes and we uh, work with them so they don't make those same mistakes again and they don't carry those mistakes into adulthood and, and or they uh, pay even steeper consequences. What, what kind of services do you provide so that this does not happen? Well, one of the things here at the Urban League, and let me just say how very proud we are to be working in partnership uh, with uh, Juvenile uh, Court and with uh, Tim, we, it's just been an exciting partnership. And uh, for instance, uh, recently we just had our first training session for our first group of students. And basically we provide motivation. We're going to be giving them uh, academic support services. We're going to be introducing them to mentoring. Some of them will be able to receive stipends. They're going to get job uh, uh, readiness classes and just all kind of supports to help make sure that they know how to get a job and keep a job because that's very important. They all told us they want a job, they want a job and also to help them to understand how they can get introduced to careers and just to really become positive contributors to society. I'm holding up a little uh, placard that they gave me here which, which gives you a little information and you call this the, uh, the, the youth uh, you Urban yep youth. now, you yep now. You yep I now. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> kind of the, the vernacular of it, the you <laughs> yep now, the Urban Youth Empowerment Program now. Right. How big a problem is it w w w with our youth, uh, Tim McDevitt, your Director of Probation Services, the Juvenile Court, how big a problem are we seeing? Well, it, Every kid that, that comes to our attention, and at any given time, the court's dealing with about uh, between 2,500 and 3,000 kids uh, on probation services. And what we do is we assess uh, what are the big risks for them to reoffend, and uh, having something to do, uh, positive, constructive activities, is, is a big thing for them to uh, be involved in so they don't reoffend. Uh, so having uh, opportunities to learn skills and to, to be employed is, is huge. And if we can uh, get more kids doing that, uh, the likelihood of them committing new crime is, uh, decreases. If you can turn their lives around early in their lives as the teenage years, you can turn these lives around, it will certainly help them and help the rest of us all along the way. We won't have to deal with problems downrange. Uh, absolutely. You know, I, at the court, I, I think we're privileged to get to do this work uh, because the better we do our job, the, the better the, the lives and the families uh, of the kids that we work with become and the safer our community becomes. Uh, so it's a, it's a Marsha, how many students are going to be in the program and, 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 and how long is the program? The funding from the Department of Labor and National Urban League is a two-year funding, a 26-month program. Uh, we are charged to serve 100 students over that two-year period. And basically, the term of services for each group is about a six to nine month time frame for each of the groups. And, but I'll tell you that based on what I'm seeing of this first group that we met here recently and engaged with them, I have a feeling we'll be with them for as long as they need us, for as long as we can help them. And they make a connection to us and we can help to get them together on the right path. We'll be there to serve them the whole two years or longer. Tim, in our final minute, do you go after these students, or how do they get in the program? Do you recommend them, or, or do they ask to get in the program, or how does it work? Well, we uh, collaborate with the, the Urban League, and uh, right now our focus uh, for this initial court, cohort uh, has been on East Technical High School and, and looking at the kids in that area. Uh, but for the next few cohorts, we plan to expand beyond that. You're going that. to expand it mm -hmm. out to, to, to wide, wider areas of Cuyahoga County. Exactly. Cuyahoga.
you know you're going to make a difference with this program yeah, because sure of this, so. this federal, it's federal money that came in to, yes. that pays for this. And yes. that, that speaks highly to the Urban League Thank you. because they're asking you to, to, to manage all, all of this. Absolutely. So uh, people can get more information on this by dialing uh, 6220999. Uh, that's the number to the uh, Urban League. And there's extension, I think they can call extension 221. Correct. But, but that's the main number, 6220999. Or you can go to ulcleveland.org and get more information on all of that. In the meantime, things are working okay for you over the Juvenile uh, Justice Center, over the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Court. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Good to have you with us. Tim McDevitt, who's Director of Probation Services, trying to get the uh, young people who may get in trouble the first time on the straight and narrow so they don't have a second time of getting in trouble. That's right. And Marsha Mockaby, President of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, we appreciate you being on the broadcast. Mar Marsha's going to keep with She's going to stay with me in the next segment, and she's going to help us close out the broadcast as she always does. We're taking a break right now. Back in a moment. Once again, we're joined by Marsha Mockaby, CEO and President of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland. We were talking about the what you call the You Yep Now program, Urban Youth Empowerment Program Now. It's yes. going to be a good one, isn't it? It is. We are so excited, Leon. You know, I'll tell you, when I looked into the eyes of these young people, the, the first group of students that have been referred uh, as uh, our guest, Tim McDevitt, uh, who was with us in the last segment, talked about, uh, we're particularly focusing on East Tech for this first cohort because that's right here in our backyard. We're, we're all right here in the central neighborhood. So we wanted to focus on the East Tech population first. We'll be rolling out to the rest of Cleveland later. But when we looked into the uh, eyes of those young people, you know, they ha they're looking for hope. They're looking for someone to help. They're looking for someone to, you know, come alongside and help them get to where they want to go. And uh, it's right within the mission of what the Urban League does. So we're very proud to be a partnership with uh, Juvenile Court and CMSD and uh, a myriad of other partners who are helping us to do this. Yeah. Tim McDevitt of the Pro Director of Probation Services in Juvenile Court here in Cuyahoga County was telling me that you're really looking at an age group between 14 and 18. If right. We can, if we can get these kids who are first-time offenders, Correct. if we can get them on the straight and narrow so there is no second offense, then it will yes. certainly save their lives Absolutely. and perhaps save the lives of all of us around them, too. Absolutely. Because, mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we told them when we met with them the first time, we said, you know, this is about uh, something that's going to help you and something that's going to help us as adults. You know, we want you to be successful so that our communities can be successful. How much money did the federal government give you to, to, to run this operation? We, over half a million dollars for two years. So that speaks a great deal to how you have does. brought the Urban League back and made it sustainable and strong again. It's, it certainly does, and we're just privileged to be a part of this. Okay. That's going to do it. Be well, everyone. Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5.